as we talked about these different areas that mindfulness can be of support is often people ask well how long do i need to meditate and when, when they find out in the mindfulness based plus reduction program 40 minutes that's a lot can i just do five minutes and uh i'd love to hear you know you've done some writing around that as well if you just share mm-hmm. what is the amount of time people always look for a magical number uh, mm, yeah any practice yeah. is better than nothing at least we're practicing but right what right. creates the, yeah. the difference on a brain yeah on a body level? Mm. yeah i remember you reaching out to me about a year ago asking about evidence on sort of practice amount and if i could advise because you often get asked that and, yes. and we get asked that at brown a lot too and so partly from your question and questions we get, I wrote a blog post on that. I have a blog with um, Psychology Today. So if you Google my mm-hmm. name in Psychology Today, you can see an article on uh, sort of the dose of meditation. Yes. And um, I'll put a link to that and, below. Oh, sure. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, it's it's very, it's really variable in terms of what's recommended. So some meditation traditions are like, you know, just start off with like, five or 10 minutes a day and actually just, you know, these baby steps in and there should be a certain amount of enjoyment of meditation. And if you're not enjoying it, you know, might not be the best thing to do. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and then there's other approaches like um, say with MBSR where they're like, yeah, I mean, do you know 40 to 45 minutes a day. And if we ask big things of people, they often respond. And, um, and so then when we look at the data, if we see, like there was the study by um, Sarah Lazar's group at Harvard where they randomized people to either, this was more of a yoga intervention, um, but to do either 40 minutes of practice a day, 10 minutes of practice a day, or they get to pick either 40 or 10 minutes. Mm. And I thought the group that got to pick would do better in terms of stress reduction, but it was the group randomly assigned to get asked to do 40 minutes a day. And the other two groups actually didn't have a significant impact on on stress and so there is some evidence that a higher dose does work better it's kind of like if i was learning how to play piano or something if i practice more i'd probably get better piano um but we can also there's a lot of people who started off with piano and their teacher told them to practice a whole bunch and they're like started didn't like it and quit yeah because it was just burnout. It was just too much. It's not a good fit for me. If you, if I got to do that much, forget about it. I'd rather do something else. And so for me, you know, the first 10, 15 years of my meditation practice, I just meditated 10 or 15 minutes a day. And I got a long ways with that. It was yeah. a big benefit. And then maybe 15 years in or so, I took MBSR and, you know, saw the encouragement to do 40, 45 minutes of practice a day. So I did that. And and it ended up being a very good fit for me and I've never gone back. Uh, mm. um, but, you know, I think as I wrote on that blog posting, I think the best, given the kind of lack of data on it, there haven't been many dosing studies. Probably the best person to advise you on the dose is, is you, is yourself. Mm. And uh, so, you know, as, as Mahatma Gandhi said, um, wrote in his um, autobiography, I think it's called my experiments with the truth or something or my experiments with yeah. life but he he kind of led his life like a series of experiments where he would try something and if it worked he'd keep on doing it if it didn't work he'd stop doing it <laughs> yeah i kind of think of that with meditation yeah. practice of you know if you do a particular amount of meditation practice just try it maybe for three to ten days of whatever it is ten minutes a day and see how that feels and then increase the dose for three to 10 days, see how that feels or decrease the dose to five minutes. Uh, and then over time, you'll start to get a feeling of what's the best amount of time spent, but also what is sort of time, but there's also like quality or content. And Hi. so that's the whole other piece of what is your mindfulness practice about and uh, what are the contemplations that you're offering yourself? So sort of a mix between both the duration as well as like the content of the meditation to find that sweet spot of what's best for you individually at this particular moment in your life on this particular day, knowing it might be different tomorrow or next month or next year. Mm. Such a distinction that you're naming about quality because sometimes it becomes a, a to-do list, a check mark 
how many more minutes almost i got to whatever it is a 40 or 45 and uh, there's just a sense of okay what is enjoying this investment such an investment in our well-being and mm -hmm. uh, you know the mbsr program it begins right away and it actually surprises people as they adapt to that link um, that actually mm -hmm. they're able to do it yeah what i've discovered is I know for me, when I took the MBSR program, I was so busy with like work, just like, how am I going to fit that in? And mm -hmm. it made me investigate, what am I doing with my time even? So it became mm -hmm. a bigger contemplation of, why do I think I can't? I'm busy, but what am I busy? What am I filling my time with? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right?